Good day, guys and girls. Sci-fi back again with another, I was going to say action figure review, but no, a sci-fi subscriber's choice. This is number 156. So, yeah, uh, just having a bit of a chat to Nick, only one Kenobi, only one. Uh, he's managed to pick himself up some very nice Revenge of the Sith figures, including this one you see before me. There we are. And it's called like a builder Darth Vader, but you know, like from Revenge of the Sith. Now, I've got to say, it's a bit of a trend happening these days. Um, there's a lot of collectors out there in the community picking up Revenge of the Sith figures, and I can see why. It sort of correlates with Kenobi and whatnot is, that is happening. Very cool. And they are good figures. I mean, they aren't TVC. But they are still good figures, and there's a lot of them, tons of them. If you can see in the background and the blurry visions back there, I've got quite a few. Uh, Wookiees, Mustafarians, Nemoidians, Polis, Masan, uh, yeah, and many, many others. But yeah, this one was a great one. That, you know, of course, the final scene where Anakin Skywalker finally becomes... More machine now, the man twisted and evil. So yeah, so that was a, that's a good looking one. I won't go into full detail. I'll wait for Nick to do his review. It's all right. This was like two thousand and five, two thousand and six, two thousand and six probably. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, he said, yeah. I said, oh look, I've got all the other droids that hang out in this to make a great display. Do you have them? He says, oh, just. Give us a look. So, yeah, as I said, sci-fi subscriber's choice. If you want to see something of my collection, be it Hasbro, Hot Toys, NECA, from Predator, Alien, Matrix, Terminator, goddamn, you name it. If I've got it, I'll show it to you. Because not much is happening in the way of new stuff. Um, yeah, I've been waiting long enough, and it's good to always get back out here on YouTube. Isn't there? Not many people do it these days. Here I am rambling on, <clears throat> it's alright, so if you want to go, here we are, an FX6, not FX7, you know FX7 has the domey more thing, this has more sort of more arms and stuff, yeah FX7 has all the, these bits that pop in and out, yep, this came, these are all single carded figures, a little bit dusty. And I'm losing a lot of light too. Let me get another bit for you. All right. So there we go. Good carded figure. Even though all these, all of these bits and pieces were removed, and they're all part of a bubble. Sort of like General Grievous in the six-inch series. Yeah. Arms and sabers and God knows what. But it's great. It's a good one to have. Also, this one was another. This one I couldn't find either. I was looking on eBay for all these things to see if Nick could pick one up. Again, a 2-1-B, but not your Empire Strikes Back 2-1-B. A bit of a darker colour. And, yeah, if you've got it out of the box, it's not as dusty. I've had these for years now. Looks very similar until you get to his feet. Yeah, he's got a bit of blue tack. He's a bit hard to stand. And also, he's very skinny. But he's not too bad. Let's see if he's going to stand up. Yeah, it's a very cloudy day, very, very miserable out there. So that's why the lighting's a little bit funny. Sun comes out every now and then. Now here's one, another chopper droid. It's called Chopper. Yeah, or sur or some people would put it down in eBay as Darth Vader's surgical droid, but no, it's called a chopper droid. It's got a little bit of movement here and there, not much. Now, I am too frightened, even after all these years, these legs could bend in, so it's more of a spidery looking, the legs crouch down like so. But no, nah, they're super bendy, and the joints there, I am just, I don't want to snap it. Now, I saw three or four of these on eBay, around one in Australia, a couple overseas, uh, you're looking at about 20 bucks, 20 Australian dollars, or whatever that is in UK money there, Nick. I don't know. 
there's a lot of um, Revenge of the Sith stuff out there now, and they're all going for around between around fifteen to thirty. Some of them, some of them go for fifty Australian dollars. Yep, uh, I did. Yeah. Again, I found some ex really super expensive ones. Uh, Hot Toys, Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, that was fifteen hundred Australian dollars. Yeah, right. Okay, not going for that. And if you could, you probably have one of these. Yep, always need a little sneaky Emperor Sidious, Emperor Palpatine. This is an old Power of the Force one. I just see yeah, him in my my displays just in the background there. Of course, he was just sitting there sneakily going, uh, "Good," you know, when the new Darth Vader, Lord Vader. Decides to crunch everyone into beer cans. And he doesn't stand up. Why doesn't he not stand up? Because oh, I've probably got him leaning on every bloody thing. But anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so that's part of the display. All in different positions, if you can position it in. Or not. Now this is the other, this is the weirdest one I found. Was this. Oh, what the hell is that? Now you've got many, you've had many, many, um droids and figures over the time with the term legends saga legends legends itself 30th anniversary legends now these are the weird yeah, uh they had a basic card some of them had two figures in it some of them had one it was the card that had vader in the background with his hand reaching out i think these were released about 2010 2011 2012 i don't know but yeah, so that's, and it's also been very dusty, so it's in the, I forget what the droid was. I was trying to look for one on eBay, and I could not find one for the life of me to know its proper name. You probably have one of these already. The Vader in the in the card looks pretty cool. I didn't mind it. And there's many others. This was just a repack line. I, I avoided it, didn't want to know about it until I saw this and went, oh, okay. So you can pop that in there, and I'll show it off again since I pulled it out. There you go, speaking of Revenge of the Sith. Another dusty look on my That's a custom one I made myself. And that is an Arachnid Prowler 3000. This is one of the droids that go hunting for Obi-Wan Kenobi after he falls off the, is it the Boga? That lizard creature on Utapau. There you go. Jesus, I should have given that a bit of a dust up and a clean. Yeah, so it's amazing what you can do with just a bit of paint and a glued toothpick. All right, but I, we've all seen that before. All right, so yeah, Revenge of the Sith. So yeah, it's nice to see people actually collecting these. Nice to see, and I'm up the table. Good on me. Way to go, you idiot. Yeah, so it's nice to see the collectors are going and backtracking. I haven't backtracked for a while. I've been quite lucky and... They managed to get a lot of new stuff, and I have gone on, to, when I went onto eBay and looked at a lot of Avengers of the Sith figures, I have watched a few. There's a few I have missed over the days. But anyway, Nick, I hope that helps you out. You've probably got some of these already, and if not, good luck finding them. Yeah, I tell you, there's some stuff out there. Especially looking here, the one I found was the Looking for FX6, I found multiple FX7s as in original Kenners. And I found a Palatoys FX7 carded, but not graded or you know, put up in the shield or anything for over 700 Australian dollars. And just went, wow. But anyway, that's about it for now. Unless uh, Zing Pop Culture give me a call and say one of my 20 pre-orders are here. Oh, you probably won't see me for a while. Um, and also, hopefully, to the guys who are out there who do all the... all the, uh, you know, chat videos and whatnot. I was going to go on uh, Shabby Geek's one the other day, but I got the timing wrong. I had to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. I thought it was 8.30 at night. Ha! Huh. Anyway, Shabby Geek, if you are watching, and anyone else who watched that... Uh, stream that was pretty good. I liked it. Wish I was there. All right, Nick, we'll talk later. Everyone, Kenobi, if you don't know who he is, get out of your rock 
and jump on his, he will leave, hopefully leave a comment down below, jump on board for an amazing YouTube channel experience. He's fantastic. All right, guys, that's about it for now. Until some new stuff comes, I will see you all then. And the force is with you. Sci-fi out.